Hey everyone! This is Macy. Welcome to this part of the Linguahe channel. In this part of the channel, we will be um, sharing some bits and pieces of the culture and history of the Philippines. The fun part of this is that I will be also explaining some Filipino jokes, Filipino street words, and Filipino memes. So you're not totally lost when somebody shares some Filipino memes on your uh, uh, Facebook news feed. Alright, so I want this part of the channel to be just chill. It's like um, we're just talking, you know, casually. So please forgive me if I make some mistakes here and there. Um, all right, so our first topic for today, I don't know where you are in this world right now, but for the most part, I think wherever you are in the world, there will be four seasons. And in the Philippines, we only have two seasons. They are the wet and dry season. And um, so as you know, wet would be the rainy season and also the dry would be the summer. Um, yeah, but my favorite uh, season um, in the Philippines is the Christmas season. I know you're like thinking like what are you talking about that's not really a season season but in the Philippines it is and it's like my favorite because it has this friendly vibes to it family vibes to it um, I don't know it's um, it's very loving during those months of the year and if you haven't or if you haven't heard about the bird months, those are the months of the year that has a B-E-R in them. And as soon as it hits the uh, part of the year, you will see this guy. There's still a lot of Jose Marie Chan's memes out there. You've probably seen some of them already. But if you really think about it, Jose Marie Chan serves as a Christmas countdown in the Philippines. That, my friend, is Jose Marie Chan, the Mariah Carey of the Philippines. No, not in that sense. He cannot whistle. But what he can do is sing Christmas songs every year. You probably heard the terminology Filipino time. That's because Filipinos are known for being late, unfortunately. But this is the part of the year where Filipinos are never late. We're actually very early when it comes to Christmas decors, playing Christmas songs. Um, but I don't complain because I love it. Um, if you haven't been to Philippines during Christmas season, I recommend for you to do so. It's awesome. It's amazing. It, it has a very loving vibe to it. Um, yeah, so hopefully you get a chance to experience that. I will be sharing a more uh, Christmas culture about the Philippines in the next or upcoming videos of the Linguaje. So uh, please make sure to hit the notification bell so you get notified. Alright, so that's it for today's episode. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos of Linguaje. I hope to see you again next time. Thank you so much. Hey everyone, this is me. Oh, this is me. Hey everyone, it's me, C. Welcome to this part of the Linguahe channel. Um, in this part of the channel, we will be um, sharing bits and pieces of the culture of the Philippines. For more Tagalog practice, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Salamat po! This audio practice is brought to you by Lingwahe.